Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card. Today I'm using the Stampin' Up! Just Kidding set again because I love it so much. I've got this sentiment by Funny Bones called Conflict of Pinterest. It's very funny. And then I'm using the Avery L. Jewel Collection 6x6 pad. I find myself buying a lot more paper, pattern paper these days, um, but generally just the monochrome ones because I can easily incorporate them into a design. I don't really have to think too much. So I'm going to use the stripe and the solid from this set. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my stamp -a jig to stamp this sentiment on uh, some Nina Solar White cardstock using some VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And uh, I'm not using my Misty because it's got uh, no sticker on the top. I just find it easier to just use the stamp -a jig. Now I've got another piece of cardstock, also Nina, and I'm stamping my uh, girl in Memento Tuxedo Black because I'm going to be coloring her with some Copic markers. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through most of this. Um, you guys have seen me color many times before, so I'll just kind of sit back and uh, color this in. Now for the ground that she's standing on, I went ahead and I extended the color all the way across the bottom so that it would kind of delineate this from um, the next panel on my card. So now that I have all my pieces, I'm going to use some uh, Stampin' Up! Foam Adhesive Dimensionals to pop parts of this up. So my striped paper, this is one inch wide. I'm going to adhere that to the bottom. I've cut three of, um, it's mostly solid, it's got a little bit of a few lines in it. Um, one eighth of an inch, three pieces of them. And so I'm going to glue that with a two-way glue pen kind of halfway underneath that striped piece. And then my sentiment piece is going to be um, popped up also, so partially covering that one eighth strip. And then I'll add another one eighth strip. And this glue works really well for these small strips that I tend to use on cards. Rather than adding a whole nother layer and wasting the pattern paper, I, I try to be really frugal with my pattern paper. And then finally, uh, for the top piece, I went ahead and figured out how large I would need it, and then I went and trimmed it up and added some foam dimensionals again. And then I'll pop it up on the card, and then I'll realize that I forgot to put that other third strip of red at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and, yes, take the whole thing off, um, just the top part. Um, I need some better adhesive that just does not stick for very long because I end up peeling off pretty much most of my cards. <laughs> anyway, so the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals are pretty good about not sticking too badly so I can kind of roll them up and they come off. And then I just um, replace them with new ones. So I'm going to trim this out again one more time. I'll figure out where I need to add some new ones, replace them, and then I'll put that panel back on the card. And that'll be it for the card. I tried to keep it pretty simple because I wanted the sentiment to speak for itself. And uh, I kept with the Pinterest colors of red and white. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.